In this video, we demonstrate our visual analytics framework for exploring class separations with locally linear segments. The system consists of four views, the second relation view, the second detail view, the projection view, and the path exploration view. After loading a data set, the segment relation view and the projection view are initialized with the segment graph and the projection results of the data set, respectively. In the segment relation view, each segment is encoded as a circular glyph. The gray lines show the k-nearest neighbor's relationships between segments. When hovering the mouse pointer over a segment glyph, the connected curved edges can be highlighted, and the details of the segment are listed in the segment detail view, including the most important features for local separation and the distribution of the covered data instances. An exploration path can be created by selecting segment glyphs in the segment relation view. The path contains a series of scatter plots showing the local separations along the path. Users can click on the slider to view the linear projection result at position on the path. Clicking on the play button will activate an animated traverse between the segments. In the first case study, we employ Space Shuttle Statlog dataset with nine numerical features in three classes. After the dataset is loaded, we find that three classes are nearly separated in the initial PCA projection result. However, the boundary between the blue and the orange classes is not linear. In the TSNI result, the green class is clearly split from the other two classes. In the segment relation view, we discover two communities in the segment graph. The green instances are mainly in community A, while the orange and blue instances lie in community B. The green segments mostly consist of green and orange instances, indicating that the green class is near the orange class, but not the blue one. There is an outlying green segment in community B containing a group of outliers from the larger green cluster. We further investigate how classes are separated and the decisive features that influence the separations in local regions. For the green classes in Community A, we check the most important features for each segment. F5, F6, and F7 are the top features, indicating that these features should be considered when separating green instances with others. Next, we explore the main segments between the blue and the orange classes. For the blue and orange class, we discover two subgroups in community B with different essential features, feature F5 in B1 and feature F7 in B2. We further explore the transition between the two subgroups. The curved edge between segment 2 and 9 indicates an angle between the corresponding separating hyperplanes. In the exploration path, the scatter plot in the middle shows the joint area of two separations where a clear angle transition is depicted. We conduct another case study by exploring the wall-following robot navigation dataset with 24 features in four classes. In the projection view, the two projection results show heavy overlaps for all the four classes of instances, indicating that the boundaries between classes may be very fuzzy. In the segment graph, no salient community structure can be discovered. However, the blue segments and the orange ones are relatively close to each other. There is only one segment associated with the green class. The green instances are distributed within a small region. We start exploring the separations for each class in a detailed manner. 
The separation between green instances and the other ones depicts a fuzzy boundary. The blue instances are evenly distributed along the entire boundary, while the orange and red ones only attach the green class in a restricted region. In the segment detail view, there are two main batches of green edges in the parallel coordinates. The corresponding sensors of the top five most important features are on the front left and on the rear right side of the robot. For the orange class, the edges between segment 5, 7, and 6 are not heavily twisted, while the edge to segment 4 is rotated. Feature S15, S18, and S12 often appear in the top features, indicating that they should be considered while interpreting why orange instances are separated from other classes. The top features vary among the blue segments, resulting in a more complex decision boundary. We create exploration paths on the orange and blue segments, respectively. In the orange path, blue and red instances in segments 7 and 6 are skewed to one side and the remaining green instances on the other side. Such skewness does not exist in segment 5 and 4. However, there is no significant pattern in the blue separation. The joint regions in the first two connection scatter plots in the orange path are relatively flat with the dominant features of S15, S18, and S12. The separations become nearly orthogonal in the third connection. Also, most of the yellow edges in the two corresponding parallel coordinates receive low values on the top features.